Hello YouTube subscribers, viewers, and other people. Mummy one here with a commentary on Neverwinter. Neverwinter is a like an MMORPG. It's free to play. And um another thing you can compare it to is MMORPG is kinda like World of Warcraft except it's free to play and um graphics are slightly better, things like that. But to start it off today we're gonna talk about the combat system in here. Um the combat system in here is pretty nice, like Say you run up to a mage as a warrior. They're going to cast a spell, but you hit them. It won't necessarily like stop their uh, cast depending on what it is, but it'll kind of like phase them. Like um uh, a better example is with warriors. Say you're facing another warrior cuz I'm a warrior right here and um well they're not called warriors, they're called the great weapons masters. But say you're facing another great weapons master and they're like do doing the basic maneuvers on you, just like the left click, they're hitting you. You could interrupt that, like somewhat interrupt that, but like hitting them and things like that. And it's, I think the combat system on this game, Neverwinter, it's pretty nice. And it's definitely, you should totally check it out. I think the um, combat system will totally like, get you guys in the first time. Um, another thing I want to talk about is pay to win. As you guys know, most games are pay to or most free to play games, sorry, are pay to win. This one, no, it's not. It's not pay to. Well, in my eyes, it's not because I haven't really came across. I mean, I know I'm a noob kind of on this game. I'm only like level 19, I think. But most free to play games have it to where you know you would come in and you'd see something like, oh, in order to get this, I would have to pay this amount of money. Or like the special currency, like in order to get this currency, you have to pay ten dollars um, U.S. cash or something, euros, whatever um, your currency might be. But in this, there's not really a need for that unless you want to look awesome. Like I mean, the armor appearance is what I'm saying. Say you want your guy to look colorful and stuff, you would need to pay for that, but you don't really need it. It's just to like kind of spice up your character. Um, as far see, if I was gonna invest in this game, I would probably invest around 20 bucks roughly if like you really like the game but you know I don't think that you should invest a lot of money into it like say like a hundred bucks I think only a, like 20 bucks is good you know if you got the money 30 um, I think the highest you should go is 60 or like 50 to 60 the price of like a full game if you really like it and um that's about it for the pay to win. Oh, and another thing. If you're really competitive, you're going to want to invest some money. Like, if you're really competitive in the PvP and all that, you're going to want to invest at least around 10 to 20 bucks. But if you're just here to play it, you could just do everything just by um time, just doing quests and things like that. Uh, as you can see here, this is I'm, I'm doing a quest. It's not a foundry quest. And that's I'll talk about that in a later thing, what a foundry quest is, if you guys don't know. But... Another thing I want to talk about, the health, this has kind of like to do with the combat system, but the health, this is what keeps you, the health is kind of like what keeps you into the game. It's kind of cool because you have these potions you could buy, and I see the closest thing I could use to compare this to is World of Warcraft, which I guess I'll use to compare it, but like World of Warcraft, your health regenerates um, over time. And, I mean, you have potions in WoW, too, but your health regenerates over time. In here, health does not regenerate over time. Health regenerates by the use of potions and rest spots, as you'll see later in the game around here, I think. Um, you'll see, like, a little kind of campfire, and you'll see, like, a blue ring around it. I think it's upstairs of this um this little house right here. Oh, no, it's right there. If, if you could, like, oh, I am tripping over my words. <laughs> if you could see that right there. The little, um, um, to my right, once I turn, that little circle right there around the, uh, campfire, that's a resting place. You could go there, you could, um, uh, gain health, and you could use this thing called invis ev evocation or invocation, which, uh, you do it every two hours, I think, if you really pay attention to it, and it says, like, gods grant you gifts, like, what you deserve, and I think the more quests you do within that period of time, okay, say Say you just use your invocation spell, and it says two hours. If you get a lot of quests done in those two hours and kill a lot of monsters, I think the next time you do it, you're rewarded with 
a lot more things than you were the last time. But yeah, the health really does, it gets you into the game actually. It's not like you just run up, kill people, oh look, my health's going to regenerate. And I'm not trying to diss WoW here. I mean, WoW is a good game. I used to play, I played the heck out of it. But, um, it's the closest thing to compare it to. You actually have to stay stock on your potions or else you could really get screwed up in some of your quests. Like the guy which will they just come up to you and screw you up. And another thing going into this uh, topic with health, uh, which is our next topic, immersiveness or how immersive the game is. See, with the health and the combat system, how you time everything, immersiveness is a key factor of the game because your health goes down. See, with these bigger opponents, which in while you only like verse opponents of your level, but there's these higher, there's like these level of opponents, but there's your typical units, and then there's the uh, the actual like opponents, as in the um, or your typical units, which are the actual opponents, and the higher up opponents, which you'll see later in the video around here. Once I start doing this quest, one's called a Hulk, as you'll see. <laughs> He's a pretty ripped, like, badass, kind of like the Hulk. Um, and they're harder to kill, but you could get it done with the use of potions, companions, things like that. Or, if you're a mage, if you're a warrior, you could get it done much faster, you know. They're great weapons master, I think it's called. It could get done. But, yeah, the immersiveness on this game is great because... The health plays a factor, the combat system, you actually go in, you control your character, like, a red thing appears around what they're about to do. Here, I'll let you see here. Um, right now I'm just killing the hurricane things. Well, you'll see it in a little bit, but a red thing appears around the people, or the ground, where something's about to hit you, mostly mages, kind of, where something's about to happen, so you're like, oh, I gotta dodge this. I can't lose this much health, so I must dodge this. So you dodge out of the way, and then, there, okay, see right here. He's doing these high-powered attacks, so you have to jump out of the way, and you could dodge it. I mean, you could dodge it. It's not like, wow, where you run away and they still hit you. You could actually dodge it. So that's uh, part of the um, immersive. See right there, I didn't dodge it, but if I would've, it would have um, wouldn't have cost me that much of health, which gets you really immersed in the game, thinking about it, when to dodge things, when to just stay in attack. I mean, I think it's really it's a really nice game due to that immersive feeling. Another topic, replayability. I think this is extremely well, I mean, it's extremely replayable only if you do it right because the only side effect I don't like to this game is you can only make two players per server, I think. Yeah, two players per server. Which that kind of it kind of ruined it. I mean, it wouldn't not ruined it, but it kind of made me like, ah, uh, because I don't like to be stuck to just, like, two specific classes, because there's multiple classes. I want to experience most of them, but I mean, hey, it's free to play. They're already giving us this privilege of playing the game. I mean, it's not right for me to complain like that to it, but I mean, it would be a much better game if they didn't just limit you like that, because I also want to be a control mage. I also want to be a... Um, a cleric, you know, a rogue, things like that, but it only limits you to two per server, or maybe even two per the whole thing, but I know it's two, it must be two per server. And, next topic, potential for it to get out there, right now it is in beta, so, you know, it's not like the biggest thing out there. I think the potential for it, I think it's really great, I think it could, it could probably get out there. I mean, with the amount of players that it has right now, I think it could be... I mean, it has most of the same features that most MMOs out there have, like Guild Wars, and, wow, I mean, you could have guilds, you could, um, visit auctions, you know, you could visit, but they have, like, more specific features in it, like stockbrokers, they'll, the stockbroker, or stockbroker, uh, the auction brokers, they will give you a specific, like, you won't have to search the, in the auction house for your specific class item, they'll just give you, like, what your class needs. So say you're a, a great weapons warrior and you're too lazy to look in the auction house, just go to the auction broker and he'll find specific things for you. In the loot system, the things are scattered out everywhere as in while wow, you just loot the body, take everything and you're done. Right here, you could actually go through everything and press F on everything and um, you know, it's on the ground scattered everywhere and the body is actually like ragdoll. Things fly everywhere like uh, gold and all that. 
and the currency in this game it's really it's nice it's not too up and it's not too high up there and it's not too low the currency is well balanced but um that is most of like the things i had to talk about this as you can see here it's i'm just doing a bunch of other things you know organizing my loot but thanks guys for watching i'll see you in the next episode